Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to do the proper clear method of the Friday-Saturday joint battle, Angelicus Guardians with Ringu. So I'm just going to get started. This is the level 58 version. So yesterday we cleared it, but I lost my Leon <laughs> on, I guess, the first wave against that uh, Aniki Rocky. So this time I'm going to demonstrate the more proper method of clearing this where you keep them alive. So with all that said, let's get started. Now, my Bernhard, it's important to note, has his faction buff, shield bash, and parry to protect other characters. Um, everyone else is pretty much the same. I did switch out assault for thousand hooves on Leon though. So with all that said, let's begin. So, very first thing, let's chivalry up, and then attack this uh, infantry. There we go. And because infantry are weak to cavalry, he just dies in one shot. And then I just retreat the full distance back, so I have 5 distance charge on Adon. Next is to use a game on Leon. And with that, and Thousand Hooves, the weak Adon will fall. One hit. So, he's down. Um, I can choose to, to shield bash this guy. I'm just going to leave it for his Leon to take care of. That. You know what? Doesn't matter. I can attack, I can choose not to attack, this is really <laughs> optional. I'll just attack with a regular strike, which actually hurt the Dark Guards a lot, by the way. But it weakens him so that Ringu's Leon can easily finish off this infantry character. And now it's Fingri's turn. He's not tabbed out again. <coughs> so, chivalry strike. And down that orc goes. Probably should have. I probably should have conserved hit points on my uh, Bernhard, but it's no big deal. So, the first blocking tile is actually this one here, in between these two forest tiles, but I don't see a point in blocking this first wave, because basically, we've already killed off that whole infantry wave with weak aid on so on. So, we're re really, we're ready to face the second wave, so there's no reason to block. So, with all that said, let's just heal up my Bernhard and get ready for the next wave. And what we're going to do here is form a wall to face that next wave. So I'm just going to put my Leon here, I'll move my Bernhard down into this forest tile, and I'll just watch him buff. <laughs> so now he's getting into position, and as I said, we're forming a wall in front of Angelica to protect her. Just shifting forward. All right. So I end my turn. Bernhard will get into place. I'm just going to heal him up first. Bring him to full health, and then pop him into the forest. So there he goes in the forest tile. Let's see. And 
set up. He has Unbreakable Guardian active. And we're ready to face this next wave. Rocky, this quiet Rocky is a nasty customer. Just look at that damage from his uh, wind blast. Wind pressure, you know, that doesn't hit anywhere near as hard as the wind blast. But we tank the hits just fine, and that's what we needed. So. Everyone's alive. They're all heavily damaged, which means time for prayer. Alright. And to top it off, on well, Leon anyways, I will chivalry up. And smash into quiet rock. Not quite enough damage to kill, but that's kind of expected. Ooh. So, to finish it off, I'm actually going to leave it to his characters. Instead, I'm just going to shield bash one of these guys. So, let's just knock him out. Because, surprisingly, he still had 4,300 hit points. I'm not quite sure. Actually, Bernhard definitely could have done that damage, in hindsight. So I could have used Shield Bash to finish off Rocky, or just melee attack and finished off Rocky. But, by knocking out this Hawk Knight, you know, we just have two targets to kill. Leon goes after Adon, kills him off. And Liana should be able to use a gain to let Leon do a second attack. Then just leaves one enemy left to deal with. is finished off by Vargas. So, second wave wiped out without any issue. No. The important part no. of this is th this second wave with Rocky is probably the hardest wave without doubt. As long as you set up properly the way we did, you won't, you know, all your characters survive and you won't have any problems. If you mess up the setup though, Ooh. then you will have some problems. It's the march to take out Weary Valin and his two Lancers. This fight is actually really easy if you have a Bernhardt alive. Without Bernhardt, it does become a bit of a hassle, but uh, with Bernhardt, it's not hard. So, just moving my characters Ooh. down at this point. Let's just send everyone in. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> 
Yes, we're about ready to attack. So, this is the second area to block off, which is where my Leon is, actually. So we're getting ready, so I'm just going to set up. Let's attack Query Valin and his Lancers. My Liana is going to just uh, block. And the question is who to kill first in many ways. You know what? I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to wipe out one of the guards. So, chivalry. Let's throw a dozen hooves at this first lancer. Shield Bash, Valin. Knock him out of the fight for one turn. Hey. Super Barb gets into play, but no problem. My Liana, which is blocking uh, Angelica from spawning the next wave, can use Prayer and heal up everyone. Easier actually. <laughs> Excuse me. Because with Valen stunned, you can't apply his uh, lancer training to effect, to increase the stats of the other characters. One of the guards. So just one you have to deal with. Oh. Well, let's start off with Bernhardt because he counters his Lava Titans in the first place. Lancer. Here, you know, now he just has to wipe out a, a weakened valley. It won't be too hard. So, the important thing is, learn hard with plus one movement, can charge in and stun this valley. Just simplifies the battle a lot if you stun him on the first turn. If you only have a three movement burn hard, then you're actually going to struggle a bit with this wave. You're not going to struggle in terms of beating it, you're just going to struggle in terms of the time it takes to finish it off. And there we go. Valen suicides itself by trying to attack. So, all that's left is to get into position for that, this final wave. Characters back up. So 
so that we can protect Angelica. It's important to note, look at these advanced Lancer Golems. They're weak, incredibly weak. 174 defense, 248 attack. So Angelica is surprisingly killable in this uh, fight. It does generally seem to take two hits to kill her, so you're still safe in that sense. But uh, it's better to have you know, Vargas around to protect her. I'm just waiting for a bit for the cooldowns to refresh. Getting off the tile, so if he needs to block, he still can. But it looks like Ringu is ready. Because I'm not sure about his cooldowns. So maybe he still needs one more turn for a game or whatever. So, but he does have the option to block off this tile, which is useful. Looks like he's ready. So here we go, last wave. Generally, Vargas is likely to die out of this way. But it looks like he doesn't this time. That's convenient. Because this way, I can just. Knock out this guy with shield bash. So he's out of the fight. Then I will just use chivalry. To attack. Ouch, I took a lot of damage there. Wow. Way more than I expected. That's okay. I actually took enough damage that I'm not sure I can finish off Nimes this time, but let's give it a shot. Thousand Hooves. Yep. Thousand Hooves saves the day. Finishes off Nimes. This just leaves two opponents to deal with, which is pretty easy. And down. So all that's left now is just one target. The stunned undead knight. Which we can finish next turn. So. No. Most important thing is that turn, as I said, this first wave here against Aniki Rocky. As long as you set up properly for that wave and keep all your characters alive, this map is easy. If one or two of your characters die against the rocky wave, then you're in serious trouble. Oh. That's really it for this battle. There's oh. nothing else to be said about it. Oh, so I'm going to finish it off at this point just by healing up Leon and then doing my final attack. And that's it for this video then. Let's see what rewards I get. No SSRs, unfortunately. But yeah, overall, you know, as I said, not too difficult once you know what you're doing. Um, I hope everyone found this video useful because yesterday we did not play it out that well. You know, we lost units on that first wave. But we adjusted and now we've cleared it quite easily.
Thanks for watching everyone. This is Nitro from the Rocky Valley server in the Guild Snow. Nitro out.